we got to figure out who the best football team to ever touch a football is. And now I did some more research. We already said 72 Dolphins. We said 85 Bears. Uh, we said the 07 Patriots. A couple of other teams here. And, and we're going to jump into the voicemail calls. But before we do that, I got some new teams. The 2012 Baltimore Ravens was an absolutely stacked team from personnel wise now this wasn't a team who was overwhelming in statistics in terms of what they did in a regular season but the talent that this team had was impeccable un untouchable almost unbelievable if you will bro they had ray lewis ed reed terrell suggs tory smith ray rice jacoby jones all on the same team and this team was insane from a personnel standpoint and although they were like on a four out of five game losing streak in the last five games of the regular season they still went on to win a super bowl over the san francisco 49ers jim harbaugh beat his brother John Harbaugh against the San Francisco 49ers. Cra Actually, I said, I said that backwards. <laughs> I said that backwards. John Harbaugh beat his brother, Jim Harbaugh, uh, with the San Francisco 49ers. But the Ravens ended up winning. So, you know, that, that is a team that you have to consider in there. You know, to, let's hear your thoughts there. But another team, too, and I, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. I just want to throw a few more teams out there. But... The 49ers, so I, I actually had a tough time, and, and I had a tough time trying to figure out the 49ers of which team should even be considered as the best football team ever because the 49ers, bro, they have so many great Hall of Fame teams that are on a pedestal because, bro, you can really go 84 49ers, like uh, 1984 Niners. You can go 1981 Niners, 1988 Niners, 1983 Niners, 1990 49ers. Like, the 49ers have so many different different like elite ball clubs it was kind of hard to make this decision but above all I went with the 1984 49ers to be considered the best team to ever touch a football because they had Jerry Rice they had Steve Young as a backup to Joe Montana Jerry Rice, Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, Dwight Clark like bro Wendell Tyler bro this, this is Hall of Fame. This is an insane roster. And then despite just the roster being good, this the 49ers, that 84 49ers team, they had 15 wins and one loss. And the one loss was against the, the um, Pittsburgh Steelers in a close game. But if they didn't lose that game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, they would have been the one and only team to replicate that 72 Dolphins undefeated season and winning a Super Bowl. Because don't forget, this 84 Niners team, they did win a Super Bowl. And they were the first team to win 15 games in the NFL regular season when the league first swapped to 16 games in a single season now here's another thing in the postseason they were pretty good pretty damn good in the postseason too they spanked the new york giants in the divisional round they beat them 21 to 10 and they shut out the elite 1984 bears in the conference championship game 23 to 0 oh and they, and they went on to win a Super Bowl. They smacked up the Colts, I believe. No, it wasn't the Colts. It wasn't the Colts. But they did smack up another team. So, I, I mean, this 84 Niners team, you got to consider them, bro. They are definitely in a discussion of, of who's the best team to, to ever touch a football. Because, bro, that's some talent. And then you can go multiple 49ers teams, too. Again, as I mentioned, 1990 was a badass team for the 49ers. 1983 was a solid team for the 49ers. 1981, 89. Like, bro, so many different options for the 49ers. So I think above all, whichever team is selected and, and i don't know when y'all gonna get the answer to who is actually the best team. <laughs> i don't know when y'all gonna actually get the answer but whatever team we choose it might end up being a 49ers team just because they have so many options to choose from you're not supposed to have that many options when you're choosing from a football team of the best ever it's not supposed to be like seven different teams that you can choose from as the best team to ever touch a football it's not it's supposed to be different teams but look here's another one too I, and I'll, I'll tell you this too this team right here i, I really like them and it makes sense of why they're considered because the 68 Jets they won a Super Bowl and this was the franchise's first and only Super Bowl that they've ever won the New York Jets so a lot of y'all might think of the, the 68 Jets and remember Joe Namath yeah Broadway Joe is what they called him but despite having Broadway Joe who also won an MVP that same season 
They set a franchise record with 11 wins, and this is still the most wins in the single franchise history with the New York Jets. They made the playoffs for the first time in history and also won the Super Bowl in the same year. Now, Jets, they was only a part of the AFL because this was AFL at the time, but the Jets, they were only a part of the AFL for nine seasons prior to winning a Super Bowl. But, bruh, the legendary Broadway Joe earned them pretty much the, the, the best team to ever touch a football alone, bro. Did y'all did the swagger this man possess with the ball on the field and then off the ball? I'm going to try and find some film to show you, too, on the clips and the videos if you watch on YouTube. But, bro, the, the swagger this man possessed, I'm going to just leave you with this. This man was on the sideline with a mink coat, bro. Uh, <laughs> he was on the sideline in a mink coat when he wasn't playing. Like, that's crazy to me. Joe Namath is one of the coolest dudes ever in the NFL, bro. So just search up a picture. Just search up a picture. If you listen to this and, and you are just chilling, whatever, search it up. Or, or maybe keep it in mind for when you get home if you're driving. I know y'all be out there on the run, too, just like me. But, you know, search it up. Just search up Joe Namath. That's it. Don't even search up coat, none of that. Just search Joe Namath. <laughs> and you're going to be like, damn, this dude was pretty cool back in the 60s. Like, he was a dope dude. But anyway, this was, I, I'm more so most impressed, obviously, by Joe Namath and the swagger that he possessed. But this was the only championship in franchise history for the New York Jets. And they won a Super Bowl in their first ever postseason appearance. So to me, that's pretty damn good, bro. You got to consider that for something. The New York Jets, they've been trash ever since 50 plus years. They have not been back to the Super Bowl. They have not been that good ever since that 68 Jets team. So, you know, I, I don't know. It's a little tough, but we got some more for next week. But anyway, if you have a team that you think is the best football team to ever touch a football, shoot me a call. 219-413-9405. And we're going to play your take back on our next episode.